being in the position I'm in and partnering with a company like this is that when I walk into these rooms, you know, they listen to me a little bit because I've got a track record because I, I do have those movies that have done well and at the end of the day it's a business, right? And so I am able to come in and push something like this, which is important thematically for my people, a story with elements that I wanna tell because I've been able to be uh, successful on the business side. Right, and so let's not miss that. That's the thing you can't, it ain't just cause I'm Will Packer and like I got ideas, no, Will Packer makes money, right? And so they want my ideas. And so I leverage that, I use that to push this. Love and Basketball is still my favorite movie. But I've been holding on to Love and Basketball and Love Jones for like decades. And you know, there, there, there have been things. You can always tell the age of the crowd. <laughs> There's some aunties in the back because... You know, like you said, a father and a daughter. There's so many different layers to it. No question. I mean, all yeah. that was in the writing. It all starts on the page. And, um, you know, we wanted to have um, a black... So she has a troubled relationship with her, uh, with her mom. She has a strong relationship with her father. And so we explore that a little bit, the love of, of a black father and a black daughter. Um, and then also we go into um, uh, Lorel, who you interviewed earlier today, plays Lakeith's brother, and there definitely is that black male friendship, right? And what is that like? And, and, and how does that influence the way that we interact with women, right? How, do, how, does, how does your relationship with your, with your brothers as a black man um, inform? Because so many of us oftentimes maybe didn't have a father figure telling you how to love a black woman. And so how do you relate to black women? Where do you get that influence from? So it's a little bit of all of that kind of yeah. kind of seasoned in. And at the end of the day, it is a love story. That was important. That was something that was important, um, that was on the page, that was, you know, we wanted to tell a love story. And that is what it is. They're also beautiful people. You ain't gonna have a real pack of love story with my people looking ashy. I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do me like that. I'm gonna, Make sure we look good. No, they do. And, um, they do. The skin's all dewy and fresh. You'll see. <laughs> the Keith is different for the Keith too. Um, you know, you haven't seen him in this in this role. Yeah. He's either. Um, but Lakeith was definitely an interesting choice for uh, for leading man. He was absolutely the right choice. He's such an artist. He's uh, he's got so much range. Mm -hmm. You're gonna yes. see him in a very different light, I think, than you have previously. Yeah. In a way that she couldn't have when her mother was when, when she was with her mom. You know what I thought was interesting too, because uh, yeah, um, you know that's another thing that I think is um, it's not unique to the black experience, but it definitely is. There's a specificity um, to the way that we. Um, the way we love each other, yeah. and the way we treat each other. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I mean, I don't have to tell you guys what's in the news lately that just made me say, damn, I just want us to love each other, you know? Mm -hmm. And the thing about it is that, as a black person, there is, there is nothing like the way another black person can mm. get on your nerves. <laughs> Y'all know what I'm talking about? Yep. I'm talking about that last itty bitty, all I got left today. <laughs> Is this little itch and you gonna, you gonna get on that last one? And only we can do that to each other. And I, and I know that, I understand that. But there's nothing like the way that we love each other either. And when nope. we come together as a community. And listen, I, we make mistakes and, and sometimes we need to be called on it, but we gotta be respectful about how we do it, you know? And so, anyway, obviously something's on my mind, but, but um, when you talk about the movie, Holding yeah. Grudges, um, I think that we have that so much, so often times, like how many people have, you know, an, a, a relationship that is, um, you know, irrevocably broken. Sure. But is it really, you know, is it really? I, I mean, I think everybody's a beautiful person, but this role, this is a guy with what he's doing in life. I would genuinely, I'm not on Match.com because I've been married for forever, but if I was, I would, what do you, swipe or click? I would. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I can tell you ain't, uh... <laughs> Swipe or, click. swipe or click. Oh. You probably do both, you know. <laughs> Me and you just gonna stay there. We're gonna stay out the streets. Because you would perform poorly. I can't. I'll say beautiful, uh, professional black people. Yeah. We don't see enough of that. Yeah. But that is, thank you. I won't give it away. That is, that's something I try to do in all my yeah. movies. Like, I'm, I try to tell a, um, a plethora of stories, a diversity of stories. Okay. Um, but one thing that you don't see a lot of is, um, you know, 
Y'all wait. When you see it, you're going to be like, oh, that's what Chanel means. Yeah, we can see her with him if he, if, with what he does if she wasn't made for 12 years. I feel like you're trying to clean something up. Okay. They've already judged you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's, we're running out of time. Let's talk about you really quickly. It is a huge deal on the business end to have this. Great content, you know, and, and I can only do that with the support of, of my people. My people come out for me. Yeah. They yeah. do. And I love that and I need that. And uh, thank you. And it just helps me to create more. And here's the thing I'll say, you know, if you see a movie from a, um, from a black creator, even, or a piece of content, whatever it is, even if you, like, you don't love that piece of content, if you feel like they are in the right place or they, they got a vibe or an energy that you, you know, that you rock with, keep support. That's what I will say, you know, because um, it's, it's tough. Um, and we're all working very, very hard. And I've, got, I've had the benefit of a lot of support. And that's the only reason I sit where I sit and have a major corporation that, um, you know, that backs me and funds my content. I want to keep it going, no matter what. You'll the world, will have, the word billion be associated with it? No, well, I don't know about that, but you will have had success. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to lie to these people. Uh, no, I told him this weekend, Oprah put us on a cloud. He's like, nah, I don't know if that's going to happen for y'all. Wait, what? <laughs> I said this weekend with Oprah, it was like, yes, you can, you will. Oh, yeah. Exactly. So you're supposed to say, yes, a billion dollars could be. I'm not going to lie to my people. <laughs> You might not be in a billion dollar industry, but that's not, are you happy? That's my Fair thing, enough. right? I'm happy, you yeah. know? A billion makes me happy, but I'm still, <laughs> I would be happy without it. I, I'm happy it because happy of the response to, yeah. to my content from real people. There are so many people now who look up to you. I mean, if I don't, who is, yeah. right? Like, mm -hmm. if Will Packer on his set, yeah. if I don't have African American female directors and writers and black, you know, grips and electric, like, you know, my white counterpart should do that for sure. But if they come on my set and I'm not hiring qualified people that are doing it, they definitely feel no obligation. You know what I mean? Because you hire the people you know, you hire the people you like. Some of it is is unintentional. I always say Hollywood is like the most liberal racist industry there is. You know? They don't even know it. They just, you know, they're just trying to be cool, but they're being exclusive. You know, they're not being inclusionary. So I have to do that. I have that's something that without a doubt, um, that is a big part of, of what I want my legacy to be. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you DC.